Linda's smile faded. Misunderstanding? You stole the love of my life from me. How is that a misunderstanding? Her dad intervened. Linda, that was a long time ago. We need to move on. But Linda wasn't having it. Move on? You expected me to just forget everything. The conversation spiraled quickly. Old grievances were heard and voices were raised. Maya. I see you, my heart, baby. A lady of all man's dreams. This is Maya. Before I dive into this story, please consider to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Honestly, you don't want to miss what I'm about to share. Linda's presence in Maya's house was like a cold, creepy fog, slowly suffocating any warmth they had left. Maya's brother, Dave and Maya, felt it every day, but this day, it was more suffocating than ever as they sat at the kitchen table, their homework forgotten. Linda's voice cut through the silence. You two better leave this kitchen spotless by the time I am done cooking. She said, shouting with an unmistakable sharpness in her tone, one that made both Dave and Maya tense up. Maya tried to sound calm as she replied, Sure, Mama, we will take care of it. Dave just nodded, his eyes not leaving his book. The front door opened, bringing a brief hope that maybe their dad's arrival will lighten the mood. But that hope vanished as soon as he walked in. His tired eyes briefly met Maya's before landing on Linda. What's going on here? Maya's dad asked, his voice weary. Nothing, just the usual thing. Linda responded, her voice sweet but her eyes cold. Maya's dad didn't say anything more. He never did. He just retreated to his office, leaving Dave and Maya to clean up after dinner. In Maya's room, Dave and Maya could finally talk freely. Linda's got their dad wrapped around her finger. Dave said with anger and hopelessness mixed in his voice. Maya nodded feeling a lump in her throat we are on our own dev we have to be there for each other the next day maya opened up to her best friend jenny at school i don't know what to do she confessed it's like she's trying to erase us from our dad's life jenny's concern was evident you can't let her win maya Maybe you should gather evidence or something and show your dad. Maya considered Jenny's word. Maybe she was right. Maybe it was time to take a stand. That night, back at home, the idea started to take shape. Maya lay in bed, thinking about Jenna's suggestion. Dave, already asleep, looked so peaceful, so unaware of the storm brewing. In Maya's mind, they need proof. Dave, Maya whispered in the dark, we need to show dad who Linda really is. The following day, turned into a silent mission, Dave and Maya started to document everything, Linda's harsh words, her cold action, the way she treated them when their dad wasn't around. They were careful, making sure she didn't catch on to what they were doing. It was exhausting, living in a constant state of alertness, but they knew they had no choice. This was their life now, a life of gathering evidence against the person who was supposed to be part of their family. The strain was starting to show. Dave was quieter at school, and Maya found herself constantly distracted, her thoughts always returning to her situation at home. One evening, as they were sitting in their room, going over the notes they had gathered, Dave looked at Maya with tired eyes. Do you think this will change anything, Maya? Do you think Dad will even believe us? Maya didn't have an answer. All she had was hope. We have to try, Dave, Maya said, her voice barely above a whisper. We owe it to ourselves to try. 
in their storage room where they keep years of forgotten memories maya found a clue in an old year book a photo of their biological mom and linda looking like the best of friends it made no sense that night maya confronted her mom about it maya is a long story we were friends but things got complicated when your father came into the picture linda never got over losing him to me maya's mom confessed a note of sadness in her voice maya was stunned this whole field stemmed from a teenage crush i had to talk to dad he needed to understand the gravity of the situation dad you need to hear this it's about linda and mom in high school maya urged him finding him in his office not now maya dad replied not even looking up but it's important dad it's about why linda hates us so much maya persisted he sighed finally meeting maya's gaze maya the past is the past we can't dwell on it frustrated maya turned to her best friend jenny for advice so linda been holding on to this grudge all these years that's crazy jenna said yeah and dad won't even listen he just brushes it off maya said feeling hopeless you need to find a way to show him the truth not just tell him jenna suggested Thoughtfully, Maya spent the next few days digging deeper into the past. She spoke to her mom and Linda's former classmate and looked up social media posts. The more she found out, the more she understood Linda's deep-seated resentment. She hadn't just been heartbroken, she had been obsessed with their dad and had even tried to sabotage his relationship with their mom. With this newfound information, she approached her dad again. Listen, dad, it is serious. Linda has been carrying this hatred for decades. She had even tried to break you and mom up in the past. Maya told him, determination in her voice. Her dad finally looked at her with real concern. I had no idea, Maya. I will talk to Linda. It was a small victory but a victory nevertheless. Perhaps now they were finally getting somewhere, determined to mend their broken family. Maya set up a meeting between her mom and Linda. She hoped that by bringing them face to face, they could sort out their past and they could all move forward. She convinced her mother to come over for dinner, telling her it was time to clear the air that night of the dinner. The tension was thick. Her mom arrived, a cautious look in her eyes, while Linda had an air of forced politeness. Their dad just seemed hopeful that this would all work out. So, why are we all here, Maya? Linda asked with a thin smile as they sat down at the dining table. Maya took a deep breath. I thought it's time to talk about the past. To resolve things for the sake of our family her mom nodded looking directly at linda i agree there were misunderstanding between us and i'm sorry for any pain i caused linda's smile faded misunderstanding you stole the love of my life from me how is that a misunderstanding her dad intervened linda that was a long time ago we need to move on but linda wasn't having it move on you expected me to just forget everything the conversation spiraled quickly old grievances were aired and voices were raised maya tried to mediate but it was like trying to stop a wildfire with a cup of water the meeting ended with her mom living in tears and linda storming off to her room her dad was shell-shocked he didn't realize it was this bad, he muttered. The next day, things went from bad to worse. Linda was more hostile than ever, especially towards Maya. She seemed to think she was conspiring against her. Her manipulation grew more cunning, turning their dance against them with subtle lies and insinuations. 
One evening, Dave came into Maya's room where he etched on his face. Maya, Linda told dad that we were ungrateful and disrespectful. He's starting to believe her. Maya felt a surge of anger. This is getting out of hand. She is tearing our family apart. They heard footsteps and hushed conversations. Linda's voice floated up the stairs, laced with fake concern as she spoke to their dad. I just want what's best for our family, but Maya and Dave, they don't respect me as their stepmother. Their dad's reply was wary. I know Linda, I will talk to them. Their home had become a battleground with Linda holding all the weapons. Dave and Maya were at lost. Their attempts at mediations had backfired, making things worse than before. The following weeks were a blur of tension and we spread argument. Maya felt like she was walking on eggshell constantly, trying to prove Linda wrong but failing each time. One night, as Dave and Maya sat in the room, a defeated silence hung between them. They need a new plan. Maya, we can't go on like this, Dave said, his voice low. Maya nodded, her mind racing. You are right, but what can we do? Dad won't listen. And Linda, she's just getting worse. We need to figure something out. We have to, Dave. That night, Maya knew Dave was right. They had to take a stand. We have to fight back. But how, Dave? Maya, we had to gather proof of Linda's toxicity. Something concrete that even Dad couldn't ignore. They turned detective in their own home, using their phone to record her outburst. One evening, Linda was particularly cruel. You kids are so ungrateful after everything I do for this family, she sneered unaware that Maya was recording from her pocket. They were careful, always on guard for the right moment to capture her through nature. But the constant vigilance was exhausting, emotionally draining. Their breakthrough came a week later. Linda had a habit of badmouthing their mother when their father wasn't around. This time, Maya managed to record her spewing venom about their mom saying things that were downright vicious. Once dad hears this, he will have to believe us, Maya whispered to Dave. As they huddled in their room, listening to the playback, but their plan to confront their dad with the evidence backfired. When they played the recording for him, his reaction was not what they expected. Linda is under a lot of stress. You kids need to be more understanding. Their dad said, dismissing their concern. Maya couldn't believe it. He was choosing Linda over them, his own children. The realization was a crushing blow. Dave and Maya exchanging a look of disbelief. They retreated to their room, the weight of their father's betrayal heavy on their shoulders. Dad doesn't see it. He is blind to what she's doing, Dave said. Frustration in his voice, Maya sat on the edge of her bed, feeling helpless. We are on our own, Dev. If we are going to expose Linda, we can't rely on Dad. The following days, we are a fence cat and mouse game. Linda grew more cunning in her manipulation, turning their dad against them with every opportunity. One night, Maya overheard her talking to their dad in their room. Maya and Dave are out of control, honey. I don't know what to do with them, Linda said, her voice laced with fake concern. We need to send them off to boarding school or anywhere as long as they are not in this house. Maya felt a surge of anger. She was playing the victim, twisting everything to fit her narrative. They need more evidence, something undeniable. But how? She's always one step ahead of us, Maya. Maya thought for a moment. We need to catch her in the act. Show everyone her true color. So they hatched a plan. They will provoke Linda into revealing her abusive side in front of their father. It was risky, but they were desperate. The opportunity came during a family dinner. 
Maya deliberately brought up a topic she knew would trigger Linda. So, Linda, why did you and mom stop being friends in high school? She asked. Linda's eyes narrowed. That's none of your business. Maya pushed further. But I think it's important for us to understand our family history. Don't you? Linda lost it. She exploded in anger, shouting and hurling insults. Their dad sat there, stunned, finally witnessing Linda's true nature. After Linda's outburst at the dinner incident, Dave and Maya knew it was time to escalate things. They need a foolproof plan to expose Linda. Maya thought long and hard, and then it hit her. They could use Linda's annual charity event to their advantage. The event was a big deal in the town, and Linda prided herself in its success. It was the perfect stage to reveal her through nature. Maya reached out to some of Linda's colleagues and employees, gathering stories of her mistreatment and abuse of power. She compiled emails, recorded testimonies and collected a trove of evidence. But the key to their plan was a live recording of Linda's outburst, which they intended to play at the event. The night of the charity event arrived. The venue was packed with guests, local dignitaries and the press. Linda was in her element, charming and gracious halfway through the event. During Linda's speech, Dave gave Maya the signal. She discreetly connected her phone to the audio system and played the recording of Linda's outburst from their family dinner. The room went silent as Linda's voice filled with anger and venom echoed through the speaker. The shock on the guests' faces said it all. Linda stood on the stage, her mask of perfection shattered. As the recording played, Maya walked up to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the truth needed to be heard. For too long, my brother and I have suffered under Linda's abuse. We have more evidence, proof of her cruelty, not just to us, but to many others. Linda tried to deny it, but the evidence was overwhelming. Guests started to murmur among themselves, and the press began snapping photos and taking notes. In the following days, the story exploded in the media. With the public outrage growing, they took the legal routes. The evidence they had gathered was irrefutable. The courtroom battle was intense. Linda's lawyer tried to discredit them, but the truth was on their side. Witness after witness collaborated their story and the recorded outburst played a crucial role. In the end, justice was served. Linda faced legal repercussions for her abuse and misconduct. It was more than just a legal victory, it was a personal triumph for Dave and Maya. Their dad was there in the courtroom watching it all unfold. After the verdict, he came up to them. I am sorry, Maya. Dave, I should have seen it, should have been there for you. It wasn't easy, but they started to rebuild their relationship with their dad. It took time, but eventually, they found their ways back to each other. As for Linda, she got the help she needed. She reached out to them eventually, apologizing for her actions. It wasn't easy, but they accepted her apology, not for her sake, but for their own peace. Their family, once broken and fractured, started to heal. They learned to trust and rely on each other again. Dave and Maya grew closer through the audio. Their bond stronger than ever. In the end, they didn't just survive Linda's toxicity. They overcame. They became stronger, united and ready to face whatever life threw at them. The story of Maya and her journey to justice has come to a close. But before you go, here is a question to ponder. If you were in Maya's shoe, would you have accepted Linda's apology after everything she had done or would you find it impossible to forgive? Share your thoughts in the comment below and let's have a discussion. Remember, each perspective adds value to the conversation. And if you enjoy the story and want more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support means we can continue sharing these gripping tales. 
till I see you again in my next story. Goodbye.